C-E-O. C-E-O. Come on. Once was outside and now we worldwide. C-E-O. Come on. Once told to hide, but you can't deny it. C-E-O. Come on. The dream took some time, but now we don't. Hey everyone, Jabaley here. Welcome to A Change of Scenery. This is actually my living room where most of the gaming gets done with my friends. And today I have a really cool unboxing of the Arcade 1UP Infinity Game Table. As you may know, I love hosting events such as CO 2021, which uh, registration we launched last week, and nearly 3,000 people bought a ticket within the first 24 hours. Uh, so it's been a kind of an insane week on my end, but I wanna get back into the YouTubing and the reviews, and especially with this product. So this is from Arcade 1UP. They announced this back in October of 2020, and this was a Kickstarter, so this isn't available at retail yet from what I've seen. Not sure if there's a launch date. It is E3 week though, so they have been announcing some new arcade cabs like the Simpson cabinet. But as you know, they make a lot of the smaller cabinets that are really fun to build and you know to bring back the nostalgia of the arcades. They've been killing it you know, during quarantine over the last year and a half. Everyone's been kind of building their own home arcades. I actually have an NBA Jam machine, a Mortal Kombat 2 machine, and a Golden Tee from them. Some games that I know my friends would love to play when they come over and everything. And this one though, completely new product that came out of nowhere from Arcade 1UP. Uh, kudos to them, you know, they've been doing pinball machines. A lot of companies have been coming up with these virtual pinball machines as well. But now they're diving into the board game market. And I think this could be the future of board games, right? So as you grow up, you, you play a lot of different board games from Monopoly. Uh, Risk is a personal favorite of mine. And you know, Hasbro kind of has that market and you want to play games with people. So they decided to kind of bring back an idea that was like talked about many years ago from like Microsoft Surface where you could have a coffee table, play different games, touch screen, 10 different points. And so when they announced this, I was like, this is very interesting. I would love to Kickstarter. Obviously Kickstarters can be wishy-washy, but for them to release this product and get into people's hands from the, you know, eight months ago, an eight month period, it's pretty impressive all on its own. So congrats to them. I know they've been kind of baiting testing this. A couple FGC friends have been working on it as well. And I'm really excited to unbox this thing. So the Kickstarter itself, multiple models. There's a 24 inch one. I believe that was uh, $5.99. And then the 32 inch, bigger is always better in my opinion, especially with a touch screen. And so I got this one plus an $80 extra to make it kind of portable and have a built-in battery, which at the time they said lasts about three hours. Obviously, you're not gonna be taking this on the road uh, a lot because it's supposed to weigh about 60 pounds, so we'll get to that when I unbox it. Very interesting, it comes with 40 preloaded games, but most importantly, like the Game of Life, Monopoly, they have chess in it, it's supposed to become a comic book reader, and then down the road, when this product becomes a, a bigger thing, they're gonna have an online store to buy more games and basically install it, it's got Wi-Fi built in, so really looking forward to this one. Welcome back to another one of my videos. This is the Arcade 1UP Infinity Game Table. Let's get this unboxed. Front of the box, pretty simple. It looks like the board game path you would, uh, you know, go. And then a little really faint of the borders of it as well. All right, so real quick before I get to the complete unboxing, this is the back of the box. Uh, one to six players, Wi-Fi enabled, games, download endless games, puzzles and coloring books, tactile feedback, so it's gonna vibrate when you touch uh, the screen itself. Impact, water resistant, so it could be a potential coffee table replacement. Obviously, we'll see how big the power cable is. Portable, take it with you with friends. Removable legs, which is really cool. High res screen, uh, it's supposed to be 1080p, immersive, music and dynamic zoom, no monthly subscription. So that's a beauty right there, no upfront costs. So it's basically gonna be a la carte, which is really cool. So you don't have to be forced to buy something you don't want to, or you know, have so much thrown at you that you just don't know what you wanna play anymore, which happens with a lot of these like emulator cabinets. Indie game developers, so it'd be cool to see a lot of content come. And Arcade 1UP's got a pretty big imprint, uh, you know, and footprint right now around uh, the gaming world. So I would love to see this continue to grow. Obviously the people being paid to act really happy, but by the size of this thing, you know, 32 inch screen, there's a 24 inch model, which it's the same build, but the screen's not as big as you see right there. So, um, but yeah, refresh rate, 60 Hertz, 16 by nine, uh, two gigs of Ram, which should be more than enough for board games. You're not gonna be playing, you know, arcade games or uh, video games that are super intensive on your processor and everything. But this is really cool. Plus 16 gigs of memory with a TF card slot. So that could be cool to buy card slots and upgrade the firmware and stuff. So yeah, there's a close up of the front of the box. 
Unboxing time. Game night begins here. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be a big boy. Definitely actually probably something I'll keep the box for. That way kind of easier to travel if I want to, but boom. Infinity game table. This screen is beautiful. Well packed. Oh yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that thing's pretty heavy. This is like at least 50 pounds. Very well produced. So here we are close up after everything's been pulled out of the box. You've got the legs that snap in, which is really cool. Don't worry, the protective sleeve is on the front, so it's not being scratched right now. But this is like opening up a new computer. The way the packaging was done was very well done, very clean. So you've got a introducing with a little pop-up right there. It tells you a little about it. You know, one place, lots of fun uh, and infinite fun and lots of games. So it's going to be cool. Obviously, when stuff like this comes out, you want it to get as much support as possible and be successful. I think that's a long ways from now because it was a Kickstarter and it's not going to be readily available. Maybe they'll announce something soon for uh, the holiday season, but I see this kind of being a game changer. If it retails under, I would say, 800 at most post Kickstarter, I think widely successful. A lot of people are going to pick it up. I mean, you could just pick up an iPad, right, and play, but having something that's a centerpiece as a game night board, uh, you know, where no cleanup. Yeah, you know, you have tons of boxes. You got to put all the little characters away, Monopoly, the thimble, all that stuff. So, but very cool. So it comes with that product warranty. Everything was in here. So these are card blockers so you can stand them up. So there's little pieces you should not lose. Card blocker right there. That way nobody can see your side of things. So you have games like Battleship and such. So I've seen it rotate and we'll go over the games when I uh, turn it on and everything. But little cardboard coasters for on top of the screen and we'll see how if it's gorilla glass or what it's made of you know i don't expect it to be completely scratch resistant something like this but we will find out and then you've got little card blocker stands uh, that come in the back of this so again even this digital board has pieces you got to worry about but don't see any kind of pockets to hide anything uh so we'll find out about that but very well designed you have a lot of little details added like the infinity board logo which again really like that logo it looks like a figure eight but of a board game uh design and then basically everything that comes in this and then on it itself you've got the volume button on off two usb ports so we'll see what you can plug into that maybe some fight sticks would be badass and play some games on it Micro SD slot means this is expandable or you can add stuff. My version is supposed to be the external uh, or a battery. So this says battery not included. So we will find that out when I turn it on and unplug it. But let's go ahead and uh, set this up real quick and turn it on. definitely sturdy well built let's see this thing is heavy so oh yeah a lot taller rule of thumb is you always want your coffee table to be lower than your couches so that's gonna be not the case but somebody kind of sitting on a seat this is a this is a beauty honestly and then power cable and then look at this kind of opening so if you make this a coffee table somewhere you're gonna have a little bit of storage around it be able to, you know, have everyone near there. So let's take this cover off. So the infinity table, I don't know if you can see that in the, uh, the B-roll, but uh, it's kind of melted in, but cleans right off. So that's good. This, yeah, definitely, definitely quality. So let's uh, get this powered up and plugged in and turn it on for you guys to check out. Oh my God, beautiful legs actually. Gee, I, like I'm pushing with all my power and it's not gonna easily slide. So this is definitely built to last. And then again, you can do it without the legs and kind of keep it flat on a table surface as you want. So having the option there is really, really cool. But yeah, you gotta like kind of push over, but you cannot slide it across a carpet or a tile. So we're back, a little bit of a snafu. I had to switch camera phones because the other one melted on me practically, my main one. We're back, uh, again, easy setup. Had to reset with the power button. I had to do a rebooting because I guess it got unplugged. First, uh, not major complaint, but get an extension cable. The cable itself from the table to the wall is probably about eight feet. That might not be the easiest for people that are going to be, you know, surrounding it uh, and you have it in the center of the room or near your couch. So that's something I'd like to see them work on. Um, let me see if I unplug it, what happens. Okay, it's not wireless. So, um, yeah. I think I paid for the wireless version, so we'll see what happens if it's an external battery that gets attached or something. Looks like it has a slot for that battery underneath here. That's pretty cool. I guess we're gonna be waiting for that. 
and don't have an account yet. So let's create an account. Giant space bar right there, I like that. But yeah, this screen, very responsive. You know, I was expecting this to be like an old Android tablet where you gotta really push in there, but this is capacitative. So yeah, barely touched that and that worked. And boom, we are in there. This is the games that it comes with. They are built in, so that is cool. You got Sari, you've got Chess, you got Mahjong Deluxe, very cool operation. I wonder if it'll buzz when you're trying to play that, so. But yeah, this is the uh, setup for it. This is pretty cool. Owned games, I guess when you download them, it'll be on the right, coming in June. That's cool, a little update system to let you know when things are coming. Um, game of Life, let's hit that, see what happens. Okay, so coming in July, so that's not out yet. Very cool, you've got a dice. Let's go to setup, select a background. This is gonna be awesome, I think, honestly. I'm gonna give it a test with my friends tonight when they come over and see how many of us enjoy playing or having six people sit around it, but awesome living room piece. Uh, you, you know what it looks like? You're gonna put the battery in here. There's a holder for it underneath. I'll do a close-up of it. And you slide the battery in, and then you plug the power cable for it into said battery. So. That's gonna be something I guess you can pull it out and charge it separately while you're still playing and such, but you know, having backgrounds, very cool guys, honestly. Let's go with a nice dark gray wood. Smiley face, let's see what's here. Select an avatar. Oh, you've got some pieces, ooh. Very cool. Sly Hungry Hippo, sorry. So you have all the different pieces from the different Hasbro games and such, so. This is something that was a Kickstarter, so it's not officially out yet, but I honestly have a feeling if this takes off and they get it to retail, it's gonna get a lot of support. Uh, manage your friends list, so you can have friends and play online with people, so we'll have to test that out at some point. Rotate display, nice. So you can automate, okay, so perfect. So where the power cable is, you can move it around. You've got your settings, storage, only 2%'s been used. Doesn't say how much, but I believe it's external, um, so we'll find out, and then Infinity game uh, founders club i did not pay an extra two dollars to get my name in the credits because my name's all already already all over the internet but uh this is awesome a lot of families bought into this that are huge arcade one-up supporters arcade one-up they continue to put out some great products uh, i believe and, and they're kind of killing the market and now you've got a lot of people selling stuff um so but congrats to all these for being in the credits which is really cool and then just back out uh let's download a game boot that up for you let's go with operation first so i'm going to click that it's going to bring it up and then again, total magnet for fingerprints and dust, but the screen. Looks pretty sturdy. I think if I, you know, did a Jabali size slam, it would probably destroy it. But uh, this is the future, I think, of board games. So it depends on how much support they get, if they continually add content. Uh, but they're building something. Because you look at something like the Ultimate At Games that has a subscription service, like $10 a month to play unlimited games that they add as they add along and then uh, other things. So in terms of, you know, arcade one-ups, a lot of people like to mod them. There's an entire, it's almost like 90s Honda Civics. There's an entire aftermarket for all these uh, arcade cabs and stuff to just add stuff. So it'll be, it would be really cool if it had an HDMI in and you could plug something into the screen, obviously, as a, a external monitor. Uh, would be really cool, but I hope to see stuff. It's supposed to be a comic book reader, a bunch of other things, uh, you know, coloring book for the kids. Uh, very cool, but again, fingerprint magnet. In terms of quality though, they created what they said they would. It's hard to move around. It'll wobble a little bit, but so owned games. Let's see, where is operation? Boom, so operation appears over there. Let's click it, let's boot up this game. And then again, down here, you have all the buttons. The power button's hard to hit, it's actually kind of, uh, indexed inside of a little circle so you can't just accidentally hit it you gotta force yourself to hit it volume let's go all the way up okay not super loud but loud enough for the room very cool so you can have six people sitting around let's start the game let's lower the volume again so let's see this is obviously obviously something you got to be very very careful to play so i'm just going to kind of mess around there is again you notice it if you're someone who plays video games a lot but don't touch the sides. Very playable, actually. I am, boom, I am the best. Yes! Still got it. Let's try this again. Remove Adam's apple, okay. I'm gonna touch the side on purpose to see what happens if I can feel a buzz. Oh yeah, the whole screen. I don't know if you could hear that on camera, but yeah, you feel it. Like, it's not super strong, but you feel it. Like, it works. This is. Pretty cool, let's back out. So house rules, three strikes, game controls, teaches obviously everything they're gonna add to this. It's not just me thrown on, they're gonna add their own UI to it to make it work. But again, arcade one up, keep expanding. 
This is awesome. Let's lower the volume a little more. Look, how do you exit? Okay. So there's no like, uh, you know, home button, uh, which is cool. It'll stop you from just, you know, hey, rage quit, boom, hitting the button and such. But I'm trying to find how you quit home. Hit the button again. Do you have to do that again? How to play dashboard. Okay, that's pretty cool. Unless there's some setting to quick get back to that, but I'm gonna download everything I can. And then, uh, yeah, so this is the unboxing, the setup. You kind of get the idea, but this is beautiful. Shout outs to Arcade One Up, honestly. I, I think this is gonna be a great product for the house. Realistically, it's probably gonna go up to like $1,000 at retail or something crazy like that, but you're basically looking at a 32 inch Microsoft Surface with board games. Simon's gonna be a touch screen on here. It's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna just start downloading almost every game. But yeah, this was part one. I'm gonna do a, a little follow up with my friends when we have a game night and kind of get people's thoughts. Uh, try something new, obviously. Uh, stay safe out there. I'm having a basically vaccinated <laughs> game night with all my friends. Everyone's been really comfortable to hang out again and uh, see you guys around. Thank you for tuning in to the Infinity Game Table 32 inch unboxing and setup. Where is it? Oh, you lost Where it. it. You dropped, you dropped, your, you dropped the scalpel in the body. <laughs> oh my god. C E O, come on. Once was outside and now we worldwide. C E O, come on. Once told the house.